I know what you think I'm gonna talk about, but you're wrong. It has something to do with it. No, it's it's not totally about what um, you think I'm gonna think about. If you think I'm gonna talk about Osama's death, then you're wrong. Because I have had enough of uh, that conversation on Facebook with various other people who think otherwise and that's what politics is all about it's just having different opinions and enforcing it by finding evidence but the problem is sometimes even if you find evidence to support your claims or your beliefs people just are not going to believe it that easily un until it happens to them so you know what forget it it's just one never ending cycle uh, I don't want to get involved in it I don't want to get into another spate with a friend on Facebook over something that has nothing to do with me or does not in does not directly involve me or my friend it, you know it's stupid we have different views and let's just leave it at that agree to disagree but what I am going to talk about what I want to talk about today is the thing that people use as an excuse for war there's this one thing that people use in a, as an excuse for war it's even bigger than than um, the economy itself because it has spanned um, decades and centuries the first few wars in the world were started because of this and that is religion now don't get me wrong I'm not anti-religion I don't hate Christians I don't hate uh, Muslims uh, Jewish people I don't hate Buddhists monks whatever you have I have nothing against religions okay I just want to put that out I don't hate any religion what I hate are people who impose themselves and make you believe that you are going to hell and think less of you because you don't have a religion or you're of a different religion personally I don't have one I'm an atheist and and I'm happier for that you can do whatever you want you can pray to your God you can go to your uh, synagogues or mosques or churches or temples I don't care do what you want but if it comes to a point where it bothers me and you're actually being an asshole to me for not having a religion then that's a big problem see for me the biggest thing the biggest problem about religion is that more people have been killed in the name of their god than anything else in the world like for example it's I don't know if you hear that, but that's the Singapore Democratic Party lorry going around telling people that there's a rally at one of the uh, open fields tonight at 7 p.m. Fucking hilarious. I can sit here right now and tell you the different problems I have with religion. Different things that I don't agree with. But I won't. Because there are people who are into religion, who have a religion for the right purpose and I feel that if you have a religion good for you you know if that's what you want out of your life go for it you have a purpose that's fine but when people start coming up to me and telling me I'm going to go to hell for not adhering to your rules then we have a problem that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm an atheist is because I don't I don't believe that people should come up to you and tell you things that are basically evil you know you 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 try to come across as someone who's righteous someone who's holy and wants to fight the good fight but you're being an asshole 
you're the one who has no tact, no humanity, no respect for people and their beliefs. That is where I draw the line. Extremists, fundamentalists, all these people who just do nothing but preach and want people to follow their way. That's just fucking insane. That's how wars are created in the first place. That's how the Crusades began, Spanish Inquisition, and even, hell, World War II. Anyway, I, I don't want to go on and on about the bad things of religion because I have seen the good side of religion. I have seen religion bring, bring people together. Uh, you know, people are happy, people celebrate, and that's what life is all about, to me at least. But I respect people's decision. If they want to have a practice, they want to have a religion, a faith, I'm okay with it. Of course I'm okay with it. How, who the fuck am I to tell them not to do it? You know, I don't go up to people and say there is no God. I don't do that. The only thing I would regret right before the moments of death is, well, just for these next two months because I won't be with Joseph. If I'm with him and I die, I would embrace death, you know, because there's nothing for me to regret and there's nothing for me to fear. I will not be afraid of where I'm going after death because, well, I'm not going anywhere. The body is made up of water, tissue, flesh and bone. Oh, and this important thing called a consciousness. If that consciousness dies, there's just no more. You're just not there, you know. That's what I believe. What you want to believe is up to you, but, you know, don't leave nasty comments saying that, you know, you're wrong, you're gonna go to hell. Fine, if I go to hell, I go to hell. And if I see you in hell, then I'll be like, hey, hi, looks like all your days not eating bacon and ham, it's just a waste, you know, I'm, I'm in hell and so are you. If that day happens, then I'll be like, okay, you know what, I made my choice. This is where I am and guess there's nothing I can do about it. There's no point regretting. To me, the most essential thing is just being a good human being. You don't need religion to teach you that. And if you're curious about what the Quran says, you know, because everyone's saying that the Quran says this, the Quran says that, oh no, that's not in the Quran, that's not in the Quran, it never says that. Buy a Quran that's been translated into English and read it. Simple as that. It's just like a Bible. I've read the Bible. Well, the first few pages of it anyway. It's a good story. So this is what I feel about religion. I don't mind if my friends have religion. I'm not a militant atheist. I'm not an atheist extremist or... I don't hate religion, but... You know, if you cross me, then fuck you, pal. And that's all I have to say. Well, I don't know if you're interested in such things or um, you like such things, but there's a link to an entire film. It's not a film, it's a documentary, which is technically a film as well. Uh, it's called Zeitgeist and it I don't know how to describe it I wouldn't say it's for conspiracy theorists I wouldn't say it's an expose but it's just a documentary that just you know it opens your eyes but a bit of warning if you are a religious nut don't watch it you're gonna be highly offended and I guess that's all for me today See ya, and stop killing.